We're here in University of Louisville's Garden Commons. This is a space right here in the heart of campus, right next to the clock tower in the Cultural Center, where anyone, students, faculty, or staff of the public, can come and reconnect to the earth and learn about what it truly takes to sustain us. I think food is really the nexus of sustainability because when you think about it, it's this choice you make at least three times a day about what you incorporate into your own body. It's a very personal decision, right? It's really important to our health and our own sustain personal sustainability, but it also has big rippling effects on everything else in our world. So whether we choose to eat organically produced or food like this that's produced without any chemicals or industrial produced chem uh, food or whether we produce uh, choose to eat more meat versus vegetables uh, meat is a huge impact it takes about 10 times the resources uh, to produce a pound of meat protein versus a pound of vegetable protein so we encourage people at UofL to always consider your vegetarian and vegan options and there's lots of those in our dining venues on campus but right here in the Garden Commons you can grow your own vegan and vegetarian plant-based diet uh, and learn what it takes to turn a tiny seed into something edible and what we're doing here is closing the loop we're growing food like this garlic in old food and what I mean by that is right here, our soil. This is rich organic fertilizer that we produce right here on campus using our food waste at our community composting site just a block north of Cardinal Boulevard. Uh, that's a great volunteer opportunity for people to come out every Sunday, noon to two, and help us turn uh, organic wastes into something positive, a rich organic fertilizer. You can also play with worms in our worm room uh, at the community composting site. So we take that product and we put it into our raised bed here in the Garden Commons and we grow new food on it. We close that circle and, and that's what sustainability is all about. We also grow perennial crops here in the Garden Commons, like you can see our perennial raspberry crop or our herb spiral or some of our fruit trees like the apple and the peach and the native service berry. And then there's other things that were already here before we put the garden in like this guy. It's a maple tree and you would look at this and never think about food, but of course you've heard of maple syrup. We actually make some right here on campus by tapping into these trees every January and February capturing some of that sap, boiling it down, and making U of L's own maple syrup. The other way we're closing the loop here at the Garden Commons is by capturing rainwater off of the roof of the Cultural Center. Uh, we could store over 500 gallons of water for use in irrigating our garden. But there's another great resource that comes to us every day that we tend not to think about, and that's of course the sun. And what we've got to do at U of L is figure out how to power our future with things like the sun and solar power. These solar panels here at the Garden Commons are powering our off-the-grid greenhouse, which needs just a little bit of power to run the fans that keep the greenhouse from overheating and the pump for the aquaponic system inside. Uh, and this is just tapping into a local resource that we tend to ignore, which is the power of the sun. Uh, we need to start powering our entire future on things like solar, wind, hydropower, and geothermal, and even biomass, or else we're really screwed. People can also compost on campus using our compost bins right here at the Garden Commons. Just throw in your food scraps when you're done, or your weeds from the garden, or if you've got an old pizza box or shredded newspaper, it's all good. The worms are going to take care of it and turn it into organic fertilizer.